Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to fly from uh, Maui to Oahu Island. We are in Hawaii from Kahului International Airport, Papa Hotel Oscar Golf to Honolulu, Papa Hotel November Lima. And we are going to fly the Diamond DA-62. Now this aircraft is equipped with Garmin 1000. That's the reason I bought this uh, aircraft. It's not a free aircraft. Um, but it's well done. And they did some work on the... Uh, Garmin 1000. There's some features that you don't have uh, with the default Sirius SP50. Um, so you gotta keep in mind on that. Um, I'll show you while we're flying and do this flight. So, a um, couple of things here on the left side you get this icon to open the screen. Now you can set the passengers, let's say you can set the chocks and then we got some cones in there. You can open the luggages, you do get a baggage cart, open the doors if you wish. Oh, I just closed my, no, yep, right. So we got three doors you can open, okay, let's close that one. Now this one, that one, let's close this, fuel. Got enough fuel, we have AC 100%, oxygen 100%, brakes are perfect, everything looks good. Now you do have other options here, if you want to take a look on those. I did move the volumes down, I'm going to close this, actually, let's uh, bring it back. I'm going to take the chocks off. Alright, um... That's, that looks good. You look at the paint. Now this is the island blue. And you do have a couple of options on liveries. Alright, so we're gonna jump here. Something like that to look like uh, emulate like we're going in. And then I can just turn on my X camera and now I can look. Alright, let's close this. And can open this guy. There you go. You can actually get some air. Turn on that. And the air units outside. Alright, let's um let's see, is this gonna make a difference? Yes, it does. Nice. Alright, so let's power on aircraft. Actually, in the meantime, you know what? I'm gonna... So we're gonna be flying with uh, X-Life on this uh, flight. And I'll, I'll, I will show you how to customize the route in X-Life. Now this screen will not disappear until we file the fly plan so I'm gonna close it from from here and open it when we're ready to file the fly plan so parking brake it's on it's this guy right here um, let's see master on hold on let's see if I can there you go master on those are avionics, we can leave them off. Let's set master on, left, right engine. Actually, I'm gonna come here and set the, the fuel to on. Both of them. Otherwise, we cannot start the engines. Alright, so fuel pumps left on, right on. There you go. There we go, we can turn off the fuel pumps now, avionics on, and you know what, let's get rid of that air unit, 
Is it on? Yep. Now I'm gonna close this because it's loud. Alright, and here we can set strobes, position lights on. We'll come back for those. And that's pretty much it. Yep. Crossfeed, um, yeah, just leave it like that for now. And um, right, let's set up the fly plate. I click on this icon, so we are going to Papa Hotel November Lima. Alternate airport, you can enter it here, you can leave it empty, it's gonna fill it up. For us, cruise altitude, let's say 1 to 5. So we're flying general aviation, we should be in between 1000 numbers. So 12,500. Uh, diamond, now here, I guess you recognize that I entered that, but. Um, the first time I start this one it was just saying DA62 now to change this and you already have something you gotta use your uh, keyboard your arrows so with the right arrow say I can move to the right all the way to the end and then with the backsplash you erase this so you go down so I'm gonna leave it the way it is diamond 62 now let's uh, let's see what kind of flight plan is gonna generate for us. So I click on generate flight plan. So it just gives us a seed direct to the star. And uh, let's see if we can set up a different flight plan. Let's see. First of all, I'm gonna check the maybe in the charts here the seed first to see if that's okay. So it's beach. Where is that? Have we? Oh no, sorry. I'm in the wrong airport. Alright, Kahului. Seed. The beach for the part, the departure. Yeah, that's fine. We can use that. Uh, but as you can see on the screen, beach for departure, beach for. The seat has two transition Harpo and, and Lanai L and Y. I mean that's where we we have to go. We have to go this way. So we're gonna use Lanai in transition. But as you, see, as you can see here, there's no Lanai, uh, uh, Lanai added. So if you wanna go that way. And if we're not setting up here, it might tell us that we're off course. I don't know if that's the case or not, but uh, we can change that. Uh, let's go ahead and go to our arrival airport really fast. So it tells us to use Saki. Uh, let's go to the star. Let's see what Saki does. Alright, so that's... Uh, so we are approaching via Saki so that's the transition we're gonna use Remy Saki and then we can go there okay uh, let's see the runways here the Saki will be let's see runway 04 right okay see all this you know they're they're going from Alana Let's see, 08 left, Alana, landing runway 26, see Alana kind of like gets us, well except this one, I mean we can use, so this will be Cecile, this will be good for, uh, for runway 26 left, but I mean, I checked, and it, I, mean, I mean, the weather can change. But Alana, how, how about we, we we try to get to Alana? Let's see. No, that's coming from northwest. 
That's from northeast. This one, Julie 5. That's our transition. And then we can go just straight to Alana and do the approach from here. Let's use this one. Alright, this is it. So, how can we change this? It's very simple. Just open any software that saves a text file. I'm on Windows, Notepad should do the work. So here's how we're gonna do. Make sure your caps locks uh, it's on. So we're gonna enter our departure airport. THOG space. I'm gonna say seed space. Which and now we're gonna say the seed. So basically we're gonna use the same seed. It's is beach, right? And then space. Now DCT here means direct, and that's what we have to use. DCT direct. Now instead of typing the star, we're gonna say L and Y. Because that's where we're going. We're going to the transition L and Y space, and then DCT again, which is direct. Now if you have, if you do a different flight plan, and you have. Uh, between your uh, let's say transition here you have a couple of waypoints and then the transition and your star then use DCT space and then you enter your next waypoint then space DCT next waypoint space DCT and so on and then when when you're done then so you know we have the same transition here so you always use DCT as a direct to that waypoint so now we're gonna enter instead of Saki we're coming via Julie so it's J-U-L-L-E -L -L -E, which is our uh, star and then space and then we're gonna say that this is the star right space and then our arrival airport which is P-H-N-L there you go so now we have our flight plan the way we want it. Now we're gonna click save. So we need to save this. It's in your main X Plane 11 folder. Resources. Plugins. X Life. Flight plan. And then we're gonna name this file like this. Your departure airport. P H O G and your arrival airport PHNL no space in between and then that text right save we can close this now if I click on the import plan from text file there you go now we have our flight plan right now we can send this flight plan to ATC Submit it successfully. All right, let's go to Atis runway 0205. It's for takeoff. We don't have that many, that much information here. Let's go to delivery. Let's pop this up. Request a clearance. Diamond 62, Kahului delivery, cleared to a new INTL runway 05 via Bravo Echo Alpha Charlie Hotel. Initial altitude 11,500 feet. Squawk 6543. Read back. Correct. Contact ground on 118.350 when ready for push and start. Alright, so. This one should. Alright, there you go. Minimize. Alright, so. Let's minimize this, uh, like this screens a bit smaller. Uh, let's the other one. And do this. All right, so we're gonna we have the route. Uh, let's see, squad. I mean, uh, QNH one zero one eight, squad six five four three initial altitude 11 
1500 runway 05 via beach 4 all right so we're gonna set the fly plan into the GPS now we're gonna click on fly plan now if you already have a fly plan in here you can click on menu and then with the outer knob so you have an outer knob and an inner knob with the outer knob you go down to delete fly plan and then just click enter there you go now if you don't have a fly plan that's how your screen will look let's go back here if I click on fly plan that's the screen that's how the screen should look so now if you go here and then you see it says here push cursor now from those arrows outer inner go in the middle should have a hand and then just push now we're gonna highlight this and with the outer knob we're gonna go down and then with the inner knob we are now you can go either left or right it doesn't matter just click once now you get this screen and now we're gonna select our arrival airport so we're gonna with the inner knob like I said uh, left and right I always go to the right because it's an uh, alphabetic order so we're looking for Papa now for P alright so we're gonna click all the way to Papa now with the outer knob we're gonna go next inner knob we're looking for hotel hotel and again next inner knob next one will be November so I'm clicking to change the letters until I get to N and outer knob next inner knob last one would be Lima and there you go Honolulu International we're gonna click, uh, we're gonna uh, press enter and then you gotta do it twice. There you go. Now I'm gonna go to the cursor and push back to uncheck and not to be highlighted again. Uh, so now we have our departure and our arrival airport. Now we're gonna set up our flight plan. So we're gonna go to program here, click on that. And then with the outer now we're gonna go down to select departure. And we're gonna click enter. Now our departure is via beach four, so it's the first one. But if it's down the list here with the outer knob you can change go back uh, down and back up. Uh, in this case we're gonna select the first one beach four, enter runway what was it runway 05 yes runway 05 so with the outer knob again go down enter so runway 05 enter and then it's gonna ask us uh, for transition we do have L and Y transition so I'm gonna select that and then enter it's gonna ask us if we want to load this and then enter again yes we want to load that now we're gonna go back to program and we're gonna select the arrival now let's go back with the outer knob select arrival enter now we set that to Julie 5 that's our star enter it's gonna be the same transition L and Y right so with the outer knob we're gonna go and highlight that enter load yes we're gonna enter again so we have our flight plan in here oops the other way and that's our flight plan now when we get close by we're gonna find out what's the runway what's the active runway and then in the mid air we're gonna click on program and select the approach but for now we're gonna leave it the way it is oops that's not a, what I meant this one all right now if you want to move the map see there is a push button in here too push pan you can push the button first you need to push the button to move the map see like so you have a, a arrow and then a hand so with a hand 
you can move the map left, up, right, and down. But you need to push the button first. Now if I push it again, it snaps back to the aircraft. And then with the arrows you can zoom in and zoom out. Now the <clears throat> this aircraft, actually the way they did it, let me show you, which is cool, I do like this. I can zoom in, see now I have the magnifying glass over there and I can zoom using the uh, mouse wheel. I can do that from here. Alright, uh, let's bring this screen. Now, I'm gonna set a couple of things in here. So first, um, I think if you fly the default aircraft, yours is gonna be on localized one. So, clicking on CDI, I'm gonna change that to GPS. Then, we're gonna go to XP XPDR here. Click on that. I'm gonna click on code. And now we're gonna enter our squawk 6543. So 6543. I'm gonna go back to XPDR and then I'm gonna set the transponder to standby. And you can see it's freer. Now when we get to the runway we're gonna come back here and change that to on right, let's click back all right uh, see this aircraft uh, these features you see that mouse wheel the icon when I go over the uh, altimeter and then even over the altitude or heading all this it, it does let me change with a uh, mouse wheel the numbers uh, the values uh, so let's see 11500 was a QNH 1018 now it, it is set to 1018 but I want to show you something here uh, if you fly with pilot to, I mean with X life uh, you need to set your altimeter to HPA yours it's probably on IN now to change that you go to PFD alternative units so yours it's probably set to IN so you can you're gonna change that one to HPA and that's what you're gonna change that it's already set to 10 1018 the initial altitude it's already set to 11500 obviously here yeah you have the outer knob and inner knob outer knob will set the thousand numbers inner knob, inner knob the uh, f uh, hundred numbers okay um, what else here that's set that's set uh, this is set I think we are good to go now we can uh, if you want, you can uh, set your heading mode for now is 050. So heading 050. All right. That's set. I think we are ready to go. It takes the light on set the flaps to take off right. and well, look, when you fly with X life you st so we're gonna go to ground I'm still gonna say this request push and Diamond start 62 push and start approved reback you just have to go through that step let's request taxi Diamond 62 Kahului ground Taxi to holding short runway 05 via apron, Foxtrot. Right, read back. I'm not gonna request the follow me car. We can do that. We need to download that uh, follow me car. Now let's go back to our departure airport. 
Uh, I'm gonna go to taxi and let's see. So we are parked somewhere in here. There is no letter assigned to this taxiway, so it says apron. So I'm gonna take apron to Foxtra. Cross runway 220. And we're gonna keep going straight all the way to runway 05. Alright. Parking brake off. life will not uh, tell you will tell you to hold shore to a runway when you get close by only if there is an aircraft landing like that one or one taking off otherwise you can just go ahead and cross the runway it's not gonna you don't have the option to call in and ask permission to cross a runway okay, so this will be Foxtrot Diamond 62 <laughs> hold position runway 02-20 busy Is he land? Was in the air Let's call back. Let's see the parking brake soon. Yes, he did land. <laughs> I thought he was in the air. So what's going on over there? Diamond 62, continue taxi. smaller bring it down here um, right. it's funny it's here it looks different Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, you know, this looks different here, interesting. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead, you know what, I'll bring the screen up here to make it just a little bit smaller. 
let's see. Alright, so we're gonna go to set we we need to set the let's stop here. Um so we need to set the transponder, actually I was on that page. XP ER on right back. Right, everything else it's set. Uh, landing lights on. See lights can go off. Alright, we are ready to go. Diamond 62, contact Kahului Tower, 118.700. Playback Tower, approach. Diamond 62, Kahului Tower, line up runway 05 and wait. Up and wait. Diamond six two, runway zero five cleared for takeoff, wind thirty three degrees eight knots. Take off. Let's see if I can keep this one straight. Click on nav. Shoot. It's the automatic pilot now. We gotta be careful here. On um, we don't wanna keep the engine too much on yellow, so we're like right on the edge there. Um so maybe just if you do that then you're engines were caught, caught on fire okay why, why are we not not some reason we're not climbing here diamond 62 contact kahului approach 123.625 fast as i was thinking lead back Diamond 62, Kahului approach, radar contact, climb to flight level 115. Let's see what's going on here. So let's see if we faster according to the charge we have to get to 2500 before we can make the turn time we're gonna check on oil pressure and temperature make sure it don't go on yellow because if they do the engine will 
catch on fire. I think we should be good for now. Okay, let me see here something. How about we use versus? So we're plus 600. How about if I bring it to 8? How much speed are we gonna lose? the engines to back um, and right so let's lower down maybe 700 we're losing speed here how about we leave it back to 600 yep let's do that
the feature that he has, you can change your frequencies here using the mouse. Mm -hmm. Um, I can see that you know being easier to do this from here instead of bringing the screen up here and then doing from here. <clears throat> but even if you screen, if you bring the screen, it it does allow you to change it here. Okay, even this you can change the descent or the climb rate. Here you can zoom this map here, which is good. Just like to bring the cursor, the heading to our heading. I mean, it's not going to happen here, but if you fly, fly online with the ATC tells you to go a different heading it's good to have this one already set to your heading and pressure ok everything is on green right. <coughs> Click on that, it will show. There you go. Show the aircraft. And we can check on the map. That guy right there. Cross. And if 
I zoom out. Oh, there's a few. Nothing going or coming from our way. Maybe a few here. Alright. but with that black dot over there All right there In the turn to go to our transition Lanai Uh, you know what, let's change let's change now this to maybe 400 we start losing, we're getting close to 10,000 we don't want to lose too much speed here aircraft can fly this high. I'm assuming we can. Just got this aircraft didn't even look at the specifications. It's one AI right there. As long as we're gaining uh, uh, speed, 
I'm okay with it. It's not like we're gaining a lot, but actually I guess that's it. Diamond 62, climb to flight level 125. Way back 122. Contact Honolulu Center 124.60. Diamond 62, Honolulu Center, radar contact, climb to flight level 125. Change it with the mouse wheel. Not bad. You can do that. Alright, so next here we're gonna be reporting top of descent. Uh, so I wanna show you something. Let's see, I'm, I just want to keep an eye on the, on the speed here, so I'm going to bring this back because uh, as right now we don't have any, let me see, you know what, maybe I can do this so I can zoom in because right now, see we only have our waypoints and the fly, uh, fly pad, right? So how do we know where is the top of the sand? Now we can check with the charts and see what altitude we should be by a certain uh, waypoint, but we still don't know where is our top of the sand. All right. So to do that, to find out, uh, this is what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna. Let me try to bring... See, I'm clicking here. Now I'm clicking... There you go. Yes, they have to work. This is probably just a glitch. Alright, so... Let's bring the charts here. Let's go to our arrival airport. So we are gonna... Descend via Julie 5. And that's where we're gonna be. So... Passing Julie, we have to be lower than 14,000. And uh, Alana, expect Vector to find approach course. Okay, 4,000. Uh, let's see if we. Let's say we. Gonna be landing, let's say ILS 04 uh, right. So here it shows me that we should be at 3,000 by Alana. How about the runway 08 left? Well, here it doesn't show me. So here we should be 3,500. So you know what? Let's set that. I, I don't know the runway yet, so I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to do. I would say. Let's set, so let's say we need to be at Alana at 3000, right? I'm going to move this away. So the reason I was checking that, because based on that we can set the GPS to show us where is the top of the sand. And to do that, let's see what we need to do. We're going to go to fly plan. Now I'm going to push the cursor to highlight our route and then with the outer knob we're going to click and go down the list here. I'm going to go to the fly plan. Okay, arrival and then Alana. And then we're going to go next and here we're going to set that waypoint. We're going to set it to with the inner knob. We're going to set the altitude that we want to be at Alana. So let's set, uh, set that to 3000. Okay. Now watch this screen below this. Uh, watch this screen right here. If I click enter, now we have informations here. And it says, now if I go with the outer knob, keep going, it's going to jump to this screen. Now if you want, you can change, this is the descent rate, you can go back one and change that to 
it sets to 661 minus 662 something like that so it's set to verses if you want to use the verses or um, you can uh, set it up like that but I, I guess the number is increasing um, so we're not gonna play with that time to top of the sand it shows you here <coughs> I'm sorry it shows you here 8 minutes and 45 so I guess this numbers they they go up and down uh, the closer we get to the uh, top of the sand the numbers uh, increases but you can manually change it if you want with the uh, with the inner knob uh, let's say you want to do uh, let's say 800 right I just changed that to 800 now it's gonna stay at 800 uh, so I'm gonna leave it like that now since I change it but uh, let's push the cursor to uncheck that and then we can push it again right so now let's click on fly plan to close that now you see this icon here it shows up on the on the fly pad let me see if I close this and go let's see what's going on here so we gain some speed here because we reach our altitude that's good um, so now oops sorry let's zoom in ah, not this view how about this one sorry alright so as you can see now we have an icon here and that's our top of descent now what we need to do here for this to work right we need to well, let's bring this so we need to set our altitude to 3000 so I'm gonna lower that to 3000 because that's where we need to be uh, now is as you can see it's we're still flying level it's not gonna do anything so we're gonna set that to 3000 I'm using the wheel, uh, mouse wheel all right 3000 that's set and then what we need to do and I'm not gonna do it now because it's too early but you need before you reach that icon there to make sure that you are going to click on VNAV that's gonna be right before that so we're gonna still waiting for uh, to get close to that icon like this we know our top of descent The 
hyper lift off. Notice something here. If I put my mouse here, it shows me the same icon as here. Now, is it gonna remember? Let's see. The size, yes. Okay, there you go. I just figure out how to read the screen. Usually you don't need this. Once we set the fly plan, and do, well, we need to set the fly plan and our approach and etc. But other than that, all right. So we're getting close to the um, top of descent. All right. So we're gonna report that. Diamond six two. Descend at pilot's discretion to flight level 90. Expect Juliet Uniform Lima Lima Echo 5 arrival. Runway 26 left in use. Uh, okay. Um. So, like I said, so before. Before we reach that icon, we're gonna set the VNAV. So I'm gonna click on VNAV, and then you see here on top it says VPAD with white. Now, if it's flashing, then you might have to click it again to be steady white. And once we reach that icon, it's gonna start descending automatically. So you just gotta watch your speed at that point. So it seems like the runway, the active runway will be 26 left. Oh well, uh, let's see what's going on here. Two six left. Let's see. We can do a RNAV approach to two six left. Diamond 62, contact a new INTL approach 136.120. And actually, let's see, let's read back. Actually, we changed the. Oops. Diamond 62, contact a new INTL approach 136.120. Again, Diamond 62, in new INTL approach, wrong ATIS information. Yeah, we gotta go to ATIS first. Okay, so here it shows us. Ah, uh, see, I missed that. I didn't look when we took off. Did it say? Probably it did say the, the runways 62. there. Identify. All right, two six Expect left. We're gonna Uniform. ILS. No, there's no. We're gonna do uh, RNAV. Runway two six left. Descent right. to flight level four zero. Okay. Diamond 62, descend to 3,000 feet. Quebec November Hotel 1018. Transition level flight level 180. NH is the same 1018. So we're gonna set that for um, for um, two six left. I just wanna show you. See, so we're getting close to the icon there. And then we're gonna go really fast and, and change the the two six left. Um, so you see this uh, arrows here. This, this will, once it, it reaches one by one twenty five, it's gonna start descending. Uh, so basically, let's see, Julie, Saki. You know what? Let's go this way. Let's do this very fast. Sorry, I will have to do it faster. There you go. Just watch your speed now. Okay, so we're gonna go to program, select approach, and let's bring this one bigger. Actually, approach, enter. There you go. So we're gonna select two six left. Now uh, let's see. Runway 26 left. Do we have. Let's see. Runway 26 left. So give me. Oh, that's 
them give me the option for RNAV. So that's the only option I have. Let's click enter. Let's do via Saki. Enter. See, we are getting close to Saki, and then we're gonna minimums. Oh boy. Uh, minimums, let's say 250, 260. Let's set that to 300. I'm gonna, oh, not you, no, 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 that's not what I want. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, it doesn't let me select them anymore. Uh, let's do it again. Uh, let's runway two six left. We are sucky. We're missing. We are missing that uh, barrel next. Set that to 260. Next, we're gonna activate this right in time. So now we just activate Saki. Uh, we we are over speeding here. So now, okay, this changes. Let's see what we have to be at 2,000. Actually, 3,000 by Cecile. Now let's see if that's set correctly or not. Let's see the approach here. It is set correctly. Alright, so uncheck that. So here there is another icon. We're gonna start probably descending very rapidly. Alright, let's see. Not you. I want that. Alright, so we're gonna then set this to 2000 according to. Alright, uh, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the landing lights. right on time so actually this uh, it was better if we were using the Saki <laughs> arrival but uh, it's okay uh, you you get the point right <laughs> uh, 26 left let's see what's going on so we're gonna do our RNAV um, so what we're interested in here there's no frequency, we're gonna still use the GPS. But the final approach courser to 259, minimum altitude 2000 at Kuhio. Right? So after Cecile, we're gonna go down to 2000. And our knife should capture us to do uh, the approach. 260 that's the minimum if we get to 260 and we don't see the runway we have to go around to go around as you can see on the charts we're gonna go to Laik and then Alana so climb to 3000 on track 259 to Capte right here left turn to Laik right there and then track 133 to Alana and hold all right that's our go around and go around altitude is 3000 <clears throat> okay all right so if I bring the screen it's pretty much the same Here you can see I'm coming in Planning. If we do a misapproach, we're coming to Alana. So that's set correctly. Now, what I want to do, let's see what else is at the approach here. Let's see, 2000 feet at Kuhio. So that's set correctly. Uh, so runway 26, okay. 
Maccabi and Laig and then Alana 3000 feet so everything is set correctly we want to double check that All right. so that's good and we are on business here all right VPAT you see right now I'm going to show you earlier but VPAT was with white on the right side and as soon as he captured us and started descending it became green and you can see it's right here VPAT now it's gonna stop I believe at 3 no it's not gonna stop at 3000 but we can just keep going and go all the way to 2000 um, I'm gonna check on the VPAT we might have to activate it again uh, we'll see barrel minimum 260 it's already set here so by setting up the barrel minimum well um, no, I want to bring this screen uh, once you get to 260 feet the active miss approach tax will become available for you to select in case of uh, in case of go round now that's why it's important to set the minimum for this message to to become live so you can select it uh, if you didn't the only way this will get activated it's if you go over the runway you do a misapproach, you take off, and but you still fly over the runway. That's when this uh, tax will become available. Otherwise, you will have to do it manually. And I do have a video that I just did uh, by practicing go around with the G1000. Uh, and you can click right here on the right corner. Right there. That's what it is. Uh, you can click on that, it's gonna take you straight or come back after this is done and go to my channel and you're gonna see that under the videos. Alright, uh, let's close this. So for VNAV you don't have to change from GPS, we're gonna stay on GPS. For ILS approach, I'm gonna change the CDI, this guy to localize one and make sure the frequency here is set correctly okay, 4000 all right we're getting close uh, what's going on here can a transition level blah 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 descend to three filter okay nothing here I'm still descending 20. windy Let's see if we can do this. If not, then I'll go. I'll do a go around, I guess. I'm just checking to see. It's our destination. All right. Um, I can leave that one on for now. Diamond 62, cleared for ILS approach runway 26 left. Report established. Alright, I'm <clears throat> just gonna report when established. So, 3700.
if it's gonna stop at 3000 or it's gonna go yeah I think it, it is gonna stop at 3000 let's see and then will it continue to 2000 I'm really curious maybe 200 So if it stops at 3000, be careful with your speed. Uh, let's see. Maybe it's gonna stop. So it, it does stop at 3000. And let's see. Is it gonna go to 2000? Yep. Keeps going down to 2000. Alright. That's good. Stop at 2000. Well, this should be should be under this uh, diamond. It looks like we're just about to be, or maybe the same. Now, if I click on approach. What's gonna happen? GPS. Oh, I need some speed here. Alright, so it, it seems like... It seems like it's taking us down. Yep. Yep, it did capture us, so... We can call it in. Diamond 6-2, continue approach. Diamond 6-2, contact tower 123.625. Move back, the tower. Diamond 6-2, cleared to land runway 26 left, wind 26 degrees 11 knots. Back. I'm gonna turn off this, but I'm gonna sh show me the aircraft. Um, okay, so here, okay, we're gonna lower the gear, watch your speed, maybe flaps one.
minimums. Best landing. I mean, not a, the best landing, but uh, anyway. <laughs> Diamond six two. Take tax away Romeo Mike, when vacated contact ground 118.100. Right, uh, where is it going? Uh, Romeo Mike, I forgot to bring the, the taxi charts, I guess it's... Hmm. Romeo Mike, okay, should be on the right side coming up. Should be that one right there. Flaps up, taxi lights on, landing lights off. Diamond 62, taxi to Lima and Mark 3 via Romeo Mike, Romeo Alpha, Romeo Tango, Charlie. Alright, um, let's see, Landmark 3, V. <laughs> That's interesting. I have no idea where is that. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna stop here for a second. So. Taxi to Landmark 3, Romeo Mike, Romeo Alpha, Romeo Tango, Charlie. Let's bring the charts here. Romeo Mike, Romeo Alpha to Romeo Tango. I'm gonna make a ride. Romeo Tango to Charlie. And then we're gonna park where? Landmark 3? Uh, this is where... Right, do we have... That's by the terminal. Zero out. Stand a minimum, so what is this? Nope. Um, well, we're gonna park somewhere in here. I don't know why. It, am I not seeing that landmark three? Oh well, we're gonna. We'll see. Maybe when we get to to Charlie, it's gonna show up some signs. I'm gonna make a right, a left on Romeo Tango and Charlie. Alright, let's do that. And then we'll see what's going on there. I'm gonna go ahead and set the transponder to... Standby. Clear that. No. 
right here. screen and Tangle should come up. Roll me a tangle. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> there you go. Roll me a tangle. It's windy. Screen is moving. Alright. Oh. It's the wind. It's pushing me to the left. Just changed. I could be. <laughs> All right, coming up on Charlie here, and let's figure out where Landmark Three is. But that's from incoming traffic. Will it be this one? I don't know. Maybe. There's no other signs. Yeah, so we're gonna park. Anyway. That's landmark three. So 
that's actually set in Pilot 2 ETC. And if you don't set that correct or you just put in names, they are not on the map, on the chart. Well, you can see it, maybe I missed it, maybe it does say over there, Landmarks 3. Anyway. park right here in front of this something like that all right parking brakes on and just turn off the engines and actually we can just open the doors okay. that one too uh, the one in the back yeah, can I do it from here, maybe? No, I saw a sign. Oh, come on. There you go. Anyway, um... I'm gonna cut off the... Uh, fuel here. There you go. Avionics off. Master switch off. And no, uh, how about those lights off? That's it. Well, there you go. I hope this helps. Until next time, happy flying.